Well, while the BP oil well in the Gulf is officially killed, the effects of the disaster are still on the minds of some concerned citizens who are willing to pay for their own laboratory tests to make sure the oil is not on our beaches. But their results are in, and they say we have a problem. ABC 7 Shannon Cornwell joins us now with more. Shannon. Lauren, Suncoast emergency management officials have said from the beginning of the oil spill, our beaches are clean and safe. But this group of citizens wanted to test our waters and beaches themselves, sending samples to a lab. The results just came back, and they say it shows toxic levels of oil found in the sand on Siesta Key. And I just went like this. I cupped it up, and I went like this. St. Pete medical assistant Allison Hendricks' job is to help people. And when some of her patients, friends, even herself, started to feel strange symptoms, she thought it could be coming from the water. Nausea all the time, headaches all the time that they didn't have before, you know, lethargic, they're real tired. And I just felt it necessary for me to take measures into my own hands, and so I started doing my own sampling. She became part of testingthewater.org, a site where concerned citizens are conducting their own tests all along the Gulf Coast. Last week, Allison was out on Siesta Key taking samples when she says she spotted oil. As soon as I w walked out onto the actual beach, I started crying. I saw all of what it is, and people would not know what it looks like unless you know or have done your research on what dispersed oil looks like. Lab results showed in the sand 173 parts per million of total petroleum hydrocarbons. Those are not normal levels for any beach, and beaches should have been closed months ago. Oh, that's a pretty low amount. Sarasota County Environmental Health Director Charles Henry says petroleum products are part of our everyday world, and finding some on the beach is no surprise. But more tests have to be done to see exactly what carbons are found within that number. We would have to explore that further and understand which particular compounds make up that TPH number to tell you whether or not there was any health concern. The Sarasota County Health Department has been taking samples of their own, and so far their tests have shown no sign of oil. As we see the results, we're monitoring for any concern, and thus far uh, we feel very confident that our waters are safe, our beaches are clean and oil-free. Tests still have to come back with a breakout of all the compounds found, as well as a test to see if the oil is even linked to the BP oil well in the first place. Again, the Sarasota County Health Department, as well as testingthewater.org, say they will continue to monitor our beaches. Health Department says they're thankful for citizens are being so proactive, but they stress if you do see something on the beach that you believe to be oil, contact the state watch office. And again, the Health Department says... It is just a small level that did come back from that report. If you would like more information, log on to our website, mysuncoast.com, and click on links we mentioned. Lauren? Shannon, thank you.